What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Gotcha Racing 18 NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Off-Season Series. Uh, this is race number six, the Fold of Honor Quick Trip 4... 5... 500? Oh, Quick Trip 500 at Atlanta. Uh, this is before the Atlanta reconfiguration. Uh, today we're going to be racing in the M&M's um, America scheme, because it's the Fold of Honor Quick Trip 500. Of course, I'm going to do something American. Um, so this is coming off of a... Uh, a not so pleasant race at Sonoma. This, uh, the, the, I'm gonna probably be a little bit tamer, uh, here at Atlanta, so there's not less, there's gonna be less swears, so I'll, I'll say that now. Um, Sonoma was a mess. We were gonna come there with the top 10, and NASCAR Heat decided, no, we're gonna break physics like we always do. And so I slid and got a 20th in the end. So, not a very good run for me, but... You know, here we are. We're here in Atlanta now. We're back on the Oval. Back at something Motorsport Games is actually good at. So, we're, we'll are we see how this race goes. Hopefully it goes pretty well. I'm going to qualify, and I'll see you guys shortly. Well, okay. I, I wanted to see if I can make my car a tad bit looser. So, I was hoping, like, maybe I can go to the garage. But, uh, yeah, it was either forfeit my time and have to restart qualifying or submit my time. So, I was like, eh, look fast enough. This is going to be another interesting race, huh? It's going to be one where I start in 29th and I somehow kick butt, take names. And it's all going to be great in the end. Uh, I'm going to make my car a tick looser and we'll see how that does. I think it's fine. Atlanta's built like a super speedway, so it should be fine. So let's get this race started. Looks like Denny Hamlin grabbed the pole. Eric Jones has been having a stellar weekend. His car is fast. Uh, Joey Gase failed pre-race inspection, so he's going to be starting dead last. Martin Truex Jr. also failed technical inspection. That's not good for the 19. Someone who's definitely a, uh, a playoff driver in the 19. Yeah, this was a super speedway before it became repaved. So, honestly, I don't think setups matter too much, but we'll see. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing at this old bumpus surface at Atlanta, everybody! The green flag is out, but... Oh. Oh, no, because I forgot to turn off the strict cautions. Or I forgot to turn on the strict cautions. Um... Hold on, is it still too late? Hold on, if I exit the race, what's that going to do? Yeah, it's probably best. We're we're gonna be stuck with um, non-strict cautions. And that is entirely my fault. I'm so sorry, everyone. I probably won't change too much, I guess. Oh god. Oh, I gotta remember to do that before the next race. Stenhouse, Stenhouse, Stenhouse. Oh gosh. Oh boy, I've wrecked like two drivers here. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Okay, so far it's working. I, I it, it's not. I don't think it's counting points. I don't think it's counting as a forfeit. If so, this video is going to be very short, and I will cry. Maybe we can get that all fixed up. Okay, so. We're turning cautions back on from relaxed to strict. And that was my only change. Same continue. Go back. And I'm gonna start. Okay, yes, it's safe. It's safe. Guess what, guys? I might have to do qualifying again. That's okay. Um, I'll just do a lap around and then and then start from the beginning. Okay. That's good. This wouldn't normally happen, but the NASCAR officials wouldn't, would, uh, they, they adjust their caution things themselves. So we'll take that as a practice, I guess. Um, so yeah, that was, that was great, huh? Okay, so I will have to qualify again, but that's okay. I'll be real quick. Okay, so this time we're going to be starting even worse. We're going to be starting 31st, but that, that's okay. I'm, I think I'm going to change my car back to... Tight, tight. Okay, so, um, the, the front row changed a little bit. 
Uh, Kurt Busch now has a poll. John Hunter Niemicek failed pre-race inspection. Eric Jones failed pre-race inspection. So, um... Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let's make this seem somewhat realistic. Uh, NASCAR realized that, um, there, there was a problem with the track. Like, the track was coming apart. So, they filled in some of the holes. Hold on. Buggy, buggy, buggy! Let's go re racing at this whole track, boys! Alrighty. Um, as I was saying, uh, so there, there was a hole in the track, right? There was a hole in the track. Oh, it has drafting up. Is drafting up really high because this is actually a super speedway, or...? Doesn't matter. Anyways, so they, they, they found a hole in the track that was messing up everybody. So they let us re-qualify. I just sucked at qualifying, I guess. And then they let us re-race all within an afternoon. Thankfully, this was a noon starting time, am I right? Yes, this is trying to drive a lot like a, um, there's a bug on the screen. That's funny. This is driving a little bit like a super speedway. Like, because I have super speedway, the drafting is up all the way. Is this game coded as a super speedway? Or is it just because I was at a road course and there was no drafting? Yeah. I think the game is counting it as a super speedway. Well, okay then. Atlanta Super Speedway, here we go. Okay, so the green flag is out. Um, I didn't change anything too dr dramatic. Uh, Martin Church Jr. was given another chance, and whoever else failed post-race inspection, I think it was the 51 car, they were both given chances to, to, to actually qualify. Oh, boy. So, yeah, now if I do spin, accidentally spin out Ty Dillon again, then there's going to be a caution. Okay. So, cool. I, I covered it up with a realistic story on how, like, the, the track was coming apart because it's so old. And then, oh, shoot. NASCAR was like, man, we feel bad. So here, we will... Okay. NASCAR was like, here, we'll, we'll let everyone restart because we know that there's this, like, pothole or something. But we filled it up with Flex Seal. And so now everything's fine. That's exactly how that went. That, that, that seems like something NASCAR would do. Hold on, I think I'm going to give you guys the, uh, the in-car camera early. I'll do it next lap. Man, if I knew uh, Atlanta was going to be seen as a super speedway, I would have uh, brought the difficulty back down to auto, because super speedways are difficult as it is. You see, this is going to be difficult in a fun way, unlike Sonoma, where it was just difficult to even drive. Yay! Alright, here's your in-car camera brought to you by Nintendo. Oh my god, it's so bumpy. Look how bumpy it is. Boing, boing. It's just bouncing around so much. Oh. Oh god. Alright, back to this field. Like I said, you got a car coming high, so I just went up high. Ooh. Right, right, right. Oh, what are you running into? You got a few more minutes till doggy dinner. Oh my gosh, stage number one is really long. Okay, you know what? I, I know I'm 20th right now, but man, this is a breath of fresh air from Sonoma. Honestly. If I... If, okay, I'll keep this in mind that um, the game sees Atlanta as a super speedway, because I have the drafting up high for super speedways, and I just did not realize that it saw Atlanta as a super speedway already. Um, it's a year ahead of its time. So I'll keep that in mind um, for the next time, if we do have a next time at Atlanta. I don't remember if Atlanta has two dates or not. Um, but I will keep that in mind. So that way I can move the difficulty back to auto if it's going to race like a super speedway. Because 
For the Super Speedways, I want the difficulty to be auto, because I thought the Daytona 500 was fine. It was pretty challenging enough. Um, more like most of the other oval tracks are just hard. And I think I'm also going to change road courses to auto, because Sonoma was a mess. And if NASCAR Heat Physics are going to continue playing with me like that, then I, I want at least a chance at something. And I miss the different colored rims of cars. Like this, these red rims on the two car of Kisowski. I kind of sort of wish M&M's... Whoa, shoot, played into the... Oh, boy. There it is. Hello, Caution. Uh, I might as well pit, honestly. What's the worst that can happen? I go to the very back. Yes, and I lose 17 positions. But you know what? That's okay. We still have a lot of the race left to go. We still have a lot of the stage left to go. Tokyo Inks playing Minecraft. They're the uh, artist for my uh, YouTube profile picture. So yeah, credit to them. Go go follow them on YouTube and Twitter. And I think I have their card in uh, my the what's it called in in my about me. So go 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 follow them on all their social medias and then go commission them because they are a good artist. I'm too fast for the double zero. Dog, there's kitties alone. They don't want to play. Oh, boy. Oh, Austin Dillon, Austin Dillon, Austin Dillon, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, three wide. Okay. Oh, we won four wide at Auto Club. Y'all remember that? Uh, that was, geez, that was a week ago for you guys. That was earlier today for me. Uh, it was like 9 in the morning when I started recording that. Now it's 4.50 in the afternoon. I spent all day on Sonoma, I swear. Oh, I probably did not need a lot out of the gas there. That was probably fine. That's okay. You know, I want to see different colored rims for the next-gen car. I'm disappointed that M&M's never got around with that, because, like, you even have, like, M&M colored tires, and it'd be so cool. Like what Red Bull did, where they had, like, the different colored rear tires, and it looked like it was part of the bull, and it was really cool. Man, that's why I love the Red Bull NASCAR Cup car so much, is because it has the different colored tires on the car. They, they had the grays up front, and the reds in the back, or was it black up front? I forgot what it was. They had a color up front, a dark color up front, and then they had the red tires in the back, and it looked so cool. Whoa, hello, Brad. I did not mean to door slam you there. Is that... Hey, I'm not the only one in my American car. What's up, Denny Hamlin? Nice nice American car. Oh, yeah, we got a good, good car. I don't know what we did in that pit stop, but uh, getting four tires made it real fast. Because tires mean so much in Atlanta! I forgot about that! This track eats tires like I eat Skittles. Actually, hold on. This track eats tires like I eat M&M's. There we go, that's more on red. I miss the old Exalta car from Alex Bowman. Oh, I love that car. I'm sorry, just... Yes, sir. I'm posting fast laps here. I just took away Jimmy's top ten. I'm sorry, Jimmy. He had a top ten... Oh, and he got it back. Jimmy had a top ten uh, yesterday at Sonoma. On Friday night. You know, I can't wait for uh, my first night race. That way it's just like completely off schedule and just throws everyone off. Because like Friday night, every race is going to be, or every race that's on Friday night is going to be at 8 p.m. I'm never doing it at noon. Eastern Standard Time, by the way. All times I'm about to say are 8 p.m. But yeah, for the night race, I'm for, I, I think I'm going to move those to 8 p.m. as well. So it'll be an 8 p.m. Saturday or an 8 p.m. Sunday. Hopefully not an 8 p.m. Sunday, because an 8 p.m. Sunday just does not sound very delightful, especially if you have school. But to be fair, I, the, most of the season is during uh, Christmas time, or uh, Christmas break, holiday break, so or at least for me. So you guys should... Oh, ow. Foot cramp. My dog just laid on my foot and it just cramped up. So, hopefully it's not, like, too late. 
I, I know I have a week off uh, during Christmas in the schedule. That's about all I remember. Here, I'll give you guys the leaderboard. There's your Day Daytona 500 champion, Quentin Boyer. Oh, jeez. Kurt Busch brought his Las Vegas car. He's up in the lane. He's doing real well. I'm catching up to uh, these group of cars right here in 2nd, uh, 3rd, and 4th. Currently in top 5, which is good, considering I started, like, almost basically last. I did not have a good qualifying run. I don't... Yeah, now I'm making, like, normal qualifying times. I don't know why I... Or, like, the, the qualifying times that wanted was, like, 30.800 some. I don't know why I did not have a fast car for qualifying. I don't know what I'm doing different that I wasn't doing qualifying. I mean, drafting, I guess. But, like, that's about it. I nice have a really fast car here. Eighty two laps left to go in stage number one. Uh, Arfic's very good at Atlanta, and he's pulling the top five right now. I could not tell you who did well at Sonoma. Mostly because I did not care for that entire race. Uh, there was a lot of screaming, a lot of... Oh, caution! I don't know what for. Everyone's pitting. I don't know why everyone's pitting. Is everyone not going to be able to make it on fuel? Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it on fuel or not. Uh, I'll get fuel and tires. Uh, okay. We'll do that. Sure. Okie dokie. I pitted and I lost seven positions. Though so did Kurt Busch. So I'm gonna guess Kurt Busch also. Kurt Busch was the leader. So I'm gonna guess these guys didn't pit and get tires. Oh, we do have a car who DNF'd, so someone wrecked hard. Uh, I don't know who that car is, but they're in the back of the pack, so it probably wasn't any of your uh, top playoff contenders. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'll figure out who it is once we get there. Oh, no, Chad Fincham held me up. I was going to get in front of Kurt Busch. I had plenty of room to, and then Chad Fincham held, held me up because I ran in the back of him. Chad felt Fincham and uh, Balicki. I've done Josh Balicki. I've just done really well. Oh, there's Truex. There's Truex. Okay, I never got to see who was um, DNF there. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, Truex goes around. He went around before I even touched him. That was not my fault. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, that was my bad. Um... Oh, J.J. Yaley. Uh, well, he was probably going to finish 40th anyways, so. Uh, he is out of the race. Uh, all four drivers who didn't pit before are pitting now. Um, I'm fine on tires. Considering we barely even won a lap. Yeah, me and Kurt Busch back in the lead. This is Las Vegas all over again. I'm not going to lose this tire strategy this time, though. Green flag is back out. Open and accidentally Mark knock Martin Jr. Jr. out. Of contention there. Oh boy. Kurt Bush, I'm sorry. Oh, he's loose. He's wiggly. Oh, we're three wide. Ryan Blaney. Ryan inside lane. He's using up that inside line. He's been doing pretty good. Jimmy! My Daytona drafting buddy! He's come back! And he's doing well. Jimmy, don't go this high. Jimmy, sometimes it's best to not follow me. Okay, 95 is not my drafting partner. He's just trying to get past me. Oh, I'm just losing positions now. I, don't, I want my inside lane. Nope. Not those tricks. Okay, so I didn't completely ruin his day. There we go. Now I got the inside line. Oh, I'm just gonna block Jimmy there for, Jimmy there for a quick second. Uh, hold on. 52 laps of estimated fuel. I have... Oh, boy. What happened to my car? 72 laps. Oh, so we're going to need to make another pit stop. Oh, boy. What happened to my car? It was good. No, it wasn't. Whoa. There's a bump there. 
Yeah, this runs exactly like Super Speedway. You just gotta be real good. I think my thing was is that I had uh, better tires than everyone else. So I was doing, oh, William Byron, hold on to it. He's not gonna hold on to it. Caution's out. William Byron. Ah, oh, he got a little loose there on the, the curb. I might have bumped him a little bit there. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna pit. All right, cool. Advanced green flag. Pit stop. Or uh, the restart. I keep saying pit stop. I don't know why. And the green flag is back out. I said um, when I finished Auto Club that Sonoma was gonna be my shortest because of how many cautions it had, but it looked like Atlanta is going to be uh, the shortest with how many cautions it's had so far. We're only like 20 minutes in. Oh boy. Yeah, he's gonna use his exalted teammate and draft on him, and I'm stuck with the rookie who oh, probably hates me. Sorry, Jemai. Oh, I got a good, good run. I got a good, good run. But is it good, good enough? I just need to duck on the inside, uh, but my car would not turn any more inside until William Byron gets past me. Okay, I, I kind of... Whoa! William Byron's going to be a little loosey-goosey again. Don't wreck. Okay, Christopher Bell. I'm a little aggressive on his quarter panel there. Sorry, C-Bell. Oh, boy. Oh, man, Alex Bum just really good man. It's also Chevrolet today. Oh, uh, I'm gonna duck. I'm gonna make a hole that was not there in the first place. Everton Center is proud of me. All right, all right. Oh, okay. Who's leading? That's Kurt Busch. Oh God. Well, you're right. <laughs> you did not sound impressed. I'm sorry. I wrecked your Stuart Haas racing car here. I ran into your Stuart Haas racing car. It's not my fault. I swear. I'm sorry. Well, boy. Oh boy, maybe I should have made this a tick looser. I mean, sometimes I wish I made it a tick looser, and sometimes it's perfect, like this lap or like this corner. I, I, I don't know. I think I just need to suck it up, which is fine. I'll just suck it up. I'm okay with that. Oh, oh, I got a good good run on the inside line here. Passing Ryan inside Laney on the inside won't be able to clear him. Yes, there we go. No, clear him. And the boys up ahead are running the high line. Truex Jr. and Kurt Busch. Oh, weren't those the two drivers who were doing very good at Vegas? It was me, Kurt Busch, and I think Truex was up there a lot. The JGR Toyotas have just done really well in this uh, off-season series. Man, those two are driving away. And Kurt Busch has had his hot flashes every so often, and sometimes he just doesn't do well at all. And sometimes he just does really well, like today. He looks like he's going to be the car to beat, both him and Truex. And we're currently battling for the lead. So we have 63 laps to go. Stage number one. I'm going to... Oh, boy. Yeah, I think I'm going to go complete this lap. And then I'm going to go... Uh, give my dog and my cats some food. My other dog is out on the hike right now, so she'll get food when she, whenever she gets home. Alrighty. And coming to the line, boom! And I'll be right back. Okie dokie, animals are fed, we're back racing. I will have to let the cat out of the room he eats in though. Oh no, no that was a little too tight. Uh, I need to be a tick looser. Next time we make pit stops. And then that right there shows me that no, I don't need to be a tick looser. Like, my car can't make up its mind if it's too tight or if it's too loose. Sixty-one laps left. Oh god to go. Here at Atlanta for stage number one. Okay, I'm just gonna draft a new Blaney, and then I'm gonna pull the shake and bake. So maybe I just need to like hit the corner different? I don't know. You know what, that might have been my problem. I might have been like too low. 
coming into the corner. Oh god. Let's not do that. No, Blaney! Blaney, my nice save! Oh my god, that was a great save by Ryan Blaney right there. And Ryan Newman, he he hasn't he hasn't been around a lot, so seeing him up here is pretty good. I'll help him out a little bit here. We're gonna get a caution because we always get a caution, so no green flag pit stops ever happen. So I'm not too worried about track position right now. I'm more worried about trying to figure out how my car drives. Yeah, I'm gonna take us three wide. There we go. See, like, that right there, it needed to be looser then. But, like, other times, like, watch me make this corner, I'm just gonna be, like, a big loose. Oh, never mind. Oh. I honestly don't think, like, it's anything I can do. Might be, like, the track, because, like, the track is so bumpy. Oh, shoot. Blaney, I'm sorry. Blaney, I'm sorry. Blaney, I'm so sorry. I'm doing nothing but wreck you. I'm so sorry. Here. Have a bump draft. So, like, maybe I'm hitting the track just wrong. And maybe that's why I'm sliding up. I, I don't know. Because, like, it, it changes per lap. Like, sometimes I'm loose at the corner, and sometimes I'm not loose into the corner. And sometimes I'm way too tight into the corner, and sometimes I'm not way too tight in the corner. Sometimes I'm perfect in the corner, and sometimes I'm not. Oh, but how high and how fast. 57 laps left to go in stage number one. Oh, Harvick's gonna follow me. Man, second and first are far ahead. I'm really far away. They're not even drafting on each other. You can see, if you look at the little map down in the left corner. They're like not even close. I don't even know if you can see that because I'm recording this off of my Chromebook and my Chromebook is kind of broken. Oh boy, how do my tires look? Oh, they are eaten. Especially the front ones. The front ones have been bit. They've been taken a bite out of. And I'm like, nom, 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 nom. And take a bite out of crime. Jeez. They're just good. This is Kurt Busch's race to lose, honestly. And maybe Martin Truex Jr. if he can get up to Kurt Busch. But honestly, if uh, the rest of this race plays out like uh, stage number one so far has... I mean, I know we're only like, what, 51 laps in? Uh, oh, we're halfway through the stage. Or almost halfway through the stage. Nice. That was, that was fast. Only 27 minutes. Um, but yeah. Um, so, so I know we're only like halfway through stage number one. But I mean, like... This game is pretty predictable. Come on. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if Kurt Busch or, and Martin Schuch Jr. stay up front, uh, maybe I'll get a chance. I don't know. I really don't care right now. All, after Sonoma, all I want is like a top 10 finish. I'll be I'll be content. You know what? I'll, I'll be content if I get last here. As long as we have like a good race that isn't nothing but NASCAR heat physics screwing me over lap after lap after lap for like five hours. That race was somehow only two hours, but it felt like it took 24. That took a lot out of me. I actually didn't take as long as a break as I thought I did. Um, I just, like, took some headache medicine. And drank some water. Because I was starting to get a migraine. I'm still slightly feeling a migraine, but slightly less now. I don't know why I'm getting a migraine. I really don't. I I've gotten, like, some random headaches just, like, throughout the week. Is that oh that's lap traffic. Okay, that's fun. Hello lap traffic. Oh, okay. Tony Stewart would tell us when we're uh, halfway, I guess. That will be uh next lap soon as I cross the start finish line. And it's time to play Who's in Last Do we ever figure out who was uh DNF by the way? Oh yeah, it was JJ Yaley. Who was gonna finish last anyway, so Nobody's surprised. In 39th is David Reagan. He's your last running vehicle. Oh, hello, Kevin Harvick. Where'd you come from? Well, take that. Take some lap traffic. Ha! Get ru- Oh, no, he's, he's on the high side. He just passed the lap traffic. I, I mean, I guess you can do that. Take Joey Gase. Joey Gase, I choose you. 
And he's gonna move out of the way for Kevin Harvick. Okay. Um, um, um. Well, Kevin Harvick, if you beat my Joey Gates, you can't beat my Chad Fincham! Womp, 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 womp. Why am I playing the, 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 the... I don't even remember what movie that's from. ba na 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 Not Men in Black. The other spy movie everyone knows. No! I have been defeated by the Kevin Harvick. I must train myself and become stronger. <laughs> The fact that Kurpush, er, Kurpush, Kevin Harvick didn't even, like, throw any attacks or any, like, didn't throw any lap drivers my way. He just passed me. <laughs> he was like, you mortal soul. I have defeated you with the power of being good. Get good LMAO. You see, this is the kind of race I wish Sonoma was. I'm having fun here. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not winning, but I'm having fun here. You know, it drives like an actual racetrack. It should. It's not wrecking me every lap. I'm enjoying my time here, and the profanities are a lot less. I went from unfamily friendly to family. Oh, son of Nine. Okay. Ha! Yes! I threw my uh, d d Josh Balicki at you. Get Balickied, lol. I'm gonna make a t-shirt now, it says, get blickied. Uh, leave a comment in the, the physical comment section. Uh, if you're watching a premiere, I, 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 I wouldn't put a comment in the premiere. Like, go to the physical comments and type, um, get blickied, lol. And if we, if we get enough, if I, if I ever get monetized, I will make that one of my first things of merch. Or whenever I get merch, I will make the Get Balickied into merch. I'll make it into a t-shirt. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh, I saved it! Oh, I saved it! Oh, I saved it! Did you guys see that? I saved it! You don't save cars in NASCAR heat! Oh my gosh, I saved it! Holy cow! Alright, uh, 16, none of my worries. He's not Kevin Harvick. I don't have any worries for Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick's like a second behind. Is he still being held up by Balicki? Uh, no, he's gonna get held up by whoever's behind the 16, Justin Haley. It's also weird saying 16, Justin Haley, instead of AJ Allmendinger. Or someone else, because 16 car is always changing. Oh, my tires! What do you mean my tires are down? Oh, I have a 20% right side. 45 laps left to go. Uh, what if I said, screw you, and I'm going to continue until my tire goes down or until I run out of fuel, whichever comes first. What would your opinion on that be? Or a caution? I'll, I'll continue running until I get a right front, like it's completely down, or until we get a caution. Either of the two. That's oh, 18%. I am losing 2% a lap, give or take. The only way I can say tires is not hitting the wall. Oh, I'm getting Nima checked. I'm getting Nima checked. Kevin Harvick has a chance to catch up to me now because I'm getting Nima checked. Are we actually going to see green flag pit stops? We might see green flag pit stops. I might have to actually care what the pit road speed limit at Atlanta is. Because that's the problem, I don't. I don't know, I do like the fact, however, that if you do get a speeding penalty, you don't have to, like, come back down pit road, you can just get your pit stop and then suffer your through your uh, penalty. I don't hate that, I think that is fine. I I actually enjoy that, because it's... Because NASCAR 09, I had to turn off black flags, mostly because it's like, Oh, you drove aggressive black flag! I'm like, yeah, it's fucking Martinsville, what do you expect? Um, but that was another thing, too. I'd get so many... Penalties. Yeah, I'd get a penalty for driving rough, despite the fact it was Martinsville. And I'd pull down pit road, and it's like, oh, you split down pit road. I'm like, well, th thanks. Oh, boy, that right front tire is not looking happy. I mean, the car is driving fine. It's driving like the right front isn't dead. I'm gonna see how long I can hold off for it. I really wanna know what a tire blown feels like. 
Oh. That's the sound of the nail and the final coffin for my hopes on making it a lot further with my 8% tire. I'm going to stay out until I get a caution. I will stay out until I get a caution. Until I get a caution or the tire blows. Because it looks like the tire is going to explode before fuel does. I'm going to be the only one making a pit stop. Oh, no, I'm not. There's some guys who made it down pit road. Oh my gosh, I'm experiencing my first green flag pit stop in NASCAR heat! Guys, are you proud of me? I'm experiencing my first green flag pit stops. You're going to blow a tire soon. Yeah, I see that. I'm waiting for Kurt Busch to go down pit road. I want to go down with the leaders. Oh my god. Why, why am I getting a really good run? By the way, I have it on normal for like the amount of grip for a tire. I don't know why my tires just have really good grip. I just have the best grip ever, apparently, when it's nearly flat. But the worst grip ever when it's on full. Oh, uh, three. Oh, uh, three. Kurt Busch, I need you to pit. Two. Two percent. Kurt. Yeah, I, I see that. I see that, Stuart. I see that. I, I need Kurt Busch to pit. <laughs> I need Kurt Busch and Mark Jr. to pit. Oh, boy. Oh, 1%. I gotta come this time. I gotta come this time. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have to come. So, 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 Oh, God. Oh, my God! I blew a tire. Uh, no. I kind of sort of blew my brain. Negative three! How do you have a tire at negative three? Yeah, I kind of sort of got hit. Thankfully, I didn't lose a position. Somehow, some way. So, I will keep my third place position. And I'll pit. <laughs> and, you know, I, I kind of sort of had to fix some damage there. Oh, I braked and then it slid to the right. And I missed pit road. So, I couldn't even have the AI driver take over for me. I was really hoping to make... And then I got hit because everyone was coming. I, I don't know how many drivers' pit strategies I screwed up. I think I helped Kurt Busch a little bit. So, Kurt Busch, you're welcome. Ah, uh, Man, I, I think I could have made it on pit road uh, without breaking the speed limit. So, that would have been fine. However, I slid. And I slid to the right. And I thought I could save it, but I think that's when my right front tire... You know what? I locked up the tires. I locked up the brakes coming down there. And that, that must have been it for the right front tire. It was like, I, I can't do this anymore. And then that's when it exploded. Which caused me to make a sharp right in traffic. That's probably exactly what happened. Alright, so we're back green. I don't know if we're going to make it on fuel or not. But, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah, good news is, or, uh, yeah, good news is, uh, I learned about my cards that it drives really well on worn tires. Especially when it's at 2%, or negative 3%, apparently. Uh, 32 laps left to go. Yeah, I'll be able to make it on fuel. That's good. You see, I kind of sort of wanted the caution before I blew my tire. Not the caution as I was blowing my tire. Almost there on pit road. I was almost there on pit road. I could have made my first green flag pit stop. Y'all would have got to see my crew at work, finally. I don't think y'all have ever seen my crew at work. Actually, that's a lie. I think Sonoma. I don't count anything from Sonoma. Sonoma sucked. Man, what happened to my good new car? It's no longer fast. Probably because I need to be in the draft. I'm not drafting. I'm just kind of circling around here. I need to get into the big suck. I remember saying that I need the big suck uh, at the Phoenix um, premiere. And someone in the chat, like, I literally just joined. The first message I see is Big Suck. I was like, yes, the Big Suck of the draft. I gotta get sucked into the field here. <laughs> That's the sound of drafting. <laughs> All clear. Sorry, Denny. But actually, that hurt me more, so I'm not... I'm unsorry. 
You guys know how there's like a purple M&M mascot now? I really hope they make purple M&Ms soon. I really want purple M&Ms. I know that Skittles already has like the rainbow, but I mean like, come on. Wouldn't it be so cool to have purple M&Ms? That's been something I wanted to see for a long time. Purple is like my third favorite color. Red and dark blue. Y'all remember the caramel M&Ms car? From 2017-2018, uh, I think. I could be wrong. Somewhere early 2019 there was a caramel... Caramel... Caramel car. My, um... Uh, oops, kind of... My throat's kind of dry there. Um... But yeah, y'all remember that. That's my favorite shade of blue. Uh, that kind of blue right there. I, I really wish that Kyle Busch got to run a next-gen version of the caramel car like he did for the peanut butter M&M's car. But yeah, so red's my favorite color. Um... Blue is my second favorite color. Dark blue is my second favorite color. And then purple is my third favorite color. Not only because it mixes my two favorite colors together, but I just think purple is a very pretty color. I like purple. Oh, Chase, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't spin him out. Okay. I could have spun myself out there, though. I'm sorry, Chase. Oh, Chase Elliott's finally having a good run, too. I gotta mess that up for him. My bad, Chase. I kind of sort of want some stage points here. I got zero stage points. I got barely any points at all at Sonoma. I I need I want I want some makeup points. I n I don't have to win the stage mostly because Kurt Busch is just driving away with it. But I I want to place in the top ten just a little bit. That's good. Ninety five is gonna be helping me now. Alright, just need the big suck off off of Almarola. And Oh boy. Oh, I would've been better if I was able to draft off of Bowman and I wasn't didn't get tight in the middle of the corner there. So that way I could have gotten past Eric Almarola and I would've be uh, dealing with Bowman and Jim Jemai uh here. Uh, gotta be careful around Jamai because he's been having a very bad season, and I want him to do somewhat decent. I mean, that doesn't mean I'm gonna make sure he gets ninth. I'm still gonna pass him, but he's been my friend. He's been my teammate. He's helped me. Hold off the field, Jamai. I believe in you. Just hold it off for 24 more laps. I know that sounds like a lot, but if anyone can do it, Jamai can. Car's doing a little booty shake there. I don't want it to do that. For multiple reasons. Number one, I know children watch my videos. And number two... I mean, it's gonna be sliding up the track, and I don't want it to slide up the track. Alright, over under if I catch up to that, uh, to the, uh, who is that? Matt Kanzith and, uh, Ryan Inside Laney by the end of this stage. Alright, who thinks I can do it? Put it put it in the chat now. And who thinks I can't do it? Put it in the chat now. I mean, just, just say, I think you can, I think you can. I want to see if you guys are correct or not. Uh, it's kind of cool to see people thought that, like, I was, I was going to go win Phoenix. And then, or Las Vegas, and then the entire Las Vegas incident happened, and I was like, no! And I don't think anyone saw my Phoenix race. Or at least, if they did, they didn't chat too much, so a little bit less of uh, audience attention there. Well, that's okay. You know what, I'm just doing this series for fun. I could care less if people watch it or not. But, honestly, if y'all enjoy it, I'll gladly bring it back next year. Because I'm having some fun. But, I want to do stuff that you guys enjoy, you know? I want to make the fans feel like a part of this, more than anything. I want to create the stuff that I like, so NASCAR Heat, I'll, I mean, besides Sonoma. I, 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 I know I kept saying I hate this game in the last episode, but I, I, I do have a slight uh, soft spot for uh, 
NASCAR heat. I really do. Honestly, doing these full races have helped me learn that this game isn't as bad as I originally thought it to be. Because I only did, you know, like the short heat races online where it's like, I don't know, 14 laps per race. So, like, doing these full things help me understand the game a little more. So, every track is fine except road courses. I think road courses should stay heat course uh, should stay heat races because they suck. Yeah, I hit the curb there. It was my fault. Yeah, the bottom lane should be moving. Oh boy, the bottom lane should be capitalizing on my. Oh boy, I took out two cars there. I'm sorry, Ryan Blaney. I'm sorry, Matt Kenseth. Um, okay, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Here's what we do. We pit. We only get right sides, and we only get a can of fuel. Okay, hear me out. Okay, hear me. Actually, mm, cancel pit. Here's what we're gonna do. Actually, yeah, four tires, just a can of fuel. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we're gonna do just right sides originally because it would be a lot faster. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. However, dot, 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 four tires equal more speed, especially here at Atlanta. You saw my right front tire. It was 53%. Now it's 100%. So, or 99%. Yeah, it's 100%. So, if I get, so that means I have a lot more grip. I have a lot more good, good tire than all of these guys do. Which means I can go a lot faster than all these guys, meaning I can probably catch up to Kurt Busch and win stage number one. That kids is called strategy. Estimated fuel is 55 laps. Uh, we have less than 55 laps left to go. We have 10. So I'm going to need to make my moves and I'm going to need to make them fast. So I accidentally created the wreck and then accidentally created like possibly the best strategy ever. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be taking a, uh, a top 10 away from Jamai. But I believe in him. Maybe he can get past Ryan inside Laney. I, I want Jemine to make his way into the playoffs in the offseason series. Mostly because uh, it'll be funny if I start if I start doing like so bad and he just like goes out and wins the championship. And he'll be an eight-time champion. That'll be pretty cool. All right, 13 laps left to go. Let's see. Is my fresher tires? Was that a good idea or not? I don't remember what position I was in before I pitted, but I think I was, like, struggling to go get in top 10, or I was in top 10. Yeah, I was trying to catch up to this field here. Oh, yeah, and I I was like, oh, yeah, how long would it take for me? And when it, I catch up to Matt Kenseth and Ryan in Sun Laney before the end of the stage, and yeah, I did. So, anyone who said yes, you, are, you were correct. Good job. Anyone who said no, you were wrong. How dare you be wrong? How dare you not? Think I am the greatest driver of all time. <laughs> nah, I, I don't care. I really don't care. I I just want some audience reaction, you know. I I find it fun when the audience plays along. That's why I lo love doing like the the four live streams that I've done, is because like oh boy, sorry Kenza, I got a little tight there, because I I love like the the act the interaction with the audience. I I loved um I was even taking track requests at one point, and I found. I found that pretty fun. I, I enjoyed taking the track requests. And it seems like the fans had a fun time requesting tracks, watching them racing. Good, good, good run off of Joey Logano. Okay, so maybe I won't be able to catch up to Kurt Busch, because Kurt Busch has turned on Shaggy God Mode. But I will possibly get top three. Ten to go. I'll possibly, possibly get top two. Yet again, I don't know if I can catch up to Kurt Busch or not. I don't know if I have that much of a good, good run or a good, good speed. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yet again, I have a lot better tires than any of these guys do. Because uh, they, theirs are most likely like my net. Yeah, it's how I not catch up to the field. Uh, they were at like 50. So... My tires are at 50. Their tires might have been somewhere along those lines of 50 or so. So, I think I should be fine. Or, I, I have better tires, so I should be faster. But Kurt Busch has just done really well. I don't know what is under the hood of that Monster Energy 
Chevy Camaro, but it is really, really fast. That's for sure. Oh, I hit the curve there and I lost all any and all good speed and momentum. I'm sliding. Oh, doing a little bit of cha-cha slide here. There we go. Got car righted out there in the end. Martin Truex Jr. helped me out there in the draft. Uh, wonder if you all want to follow me, follow me behind the nine and the four. Sorry. Oh boy. That got me a little too tight. Alright, he's back to helping me. Back to helping me. Seven to go, stage number one. This is for second place, by the way. Uh, Kurt Busch is far, far ahead. He's just two seconds ahead. He he turned on auto difficulty. He turned on auto difficulty. And he's just driving away. <laughs> There's a car to beat this uh, today. I was going to say this weekend. If there's going to be a car to beat today, it's definitely going to be Kurt Busch. That's, that's for sure. Six to go. Stage number one. Why did I say one like that? I said it with a WH. One. One. Makes me sound rich and fancy. Stage number one. Hello, I am an F1 fan. I have so much money. That I could buy a of water at an F1 race. Speaking of F1 and how strict they are, despite the fact I never mentioned how strict F1 is, F1 is really strict with rules, by the way. And obviously, so because like, the cars are so fragile. So they don't want any bumping or anything. They penalize people for bumping. Um, exceeding track limits for some reason. Not like cutting the course. No, 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 no. Like going too far on the outside of a corner. They literally whine and complain about that. I'm like, really? That, that, that's why like F1 fans are like so confused when they watch us come to like some of their road course. Oh, shoot. Some of their road course like Coda. And we're just like all the way like right next to the sand pit that's supposed to be there only in like times of danger. Yeah, to be, to be fair, Harvick, I did kind of sort of run into the wall there. It's Harvicking. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's why any F1 fan is just like really confused on why we're allowed to do that, because they're not even allowed to... They, they, they have the Indy Roval rules at every single track. They, they are not allowed to leave the AI line at all. Um, but yeah, um, what was I talking about? Strict rules. I forget where I was going with that. I had something, and I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, where were we? In the midst of, uh, three and four. Trying to catch up Kurt Busch. Yes, we have better tires. That's right. Okay. I remember it all now. And the question is with... Two to go. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. We're not catching up to Kurt Busch. I was going to say, with two laps to go, can we catch up to Kurt Busch? But I don't think we can. We can lose our second place, however, by doing stupid stuff like that. I'm fending off Kevin Harvick. For second. Ooh. Oh boy, Kevin Harvick got a good, good run there. White flag for stage number one. Oh no. Oh, I want a podium. I want second place. Oh, Kurt Busch is getting held up by lap traffic. It's not going to be enough, though. Oh, got a little slide there. Got send it in deep. Oh, that's a little too deep. Oh, it's going to be a three-car battle for second. And it's, and it's, and it's... Oh, no! So close! Wait. Oh no, wait, never mind. Yeah, it did be Martin Church Jr. That's what I was so close about. I forgot that we had Kurt Busch in first. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pit for four tires. Fill her with fuel. Okay. Cool. So that was uh, stage number one. Quite entertaining. I better say so myself. Oh, that was pretty good. So we'll see what we can bring 
In stage number two. Kurt Busch has a really good car. He... All of us are on auto. And... Or he, he turned the settings to auto difficulty for himself. Well, I'm stuck here in auto hard. I say as I pass him. Okay, then. So now I'm going to be looking in my non-existent review mirror. I don't like that view at all. I don't like the wide view. Joey Logano has taken... has put his hat... Uh, his name in the hat in second place. 101 laps to go... That's a great way to lose... a race. No, come on. Nope. Nope, not if I could stop him. Oh, 42 has got a good, good run. I can't... It's a little too late for that. Okay, he's got a bit of a break. There. Oh, it looks like Kerfush is going to continue to drive away with this one. Oh, boy. Oh, huge wreck. Oh, God. Okay, I did not mean to... Whoa. Watch the field. Alrighty then. Well, I'm going to have to pit for repairs. Might as well give her some tires. Let's see where we can take off with this. Matt D. Burrito is the free pass driver. And everyone else they want to lap down. Green flag is back. Oh, I had a great start there. Sorry, Bubble Walls. Get good, lol. Uh, Chase Elliott going back to not doing well again. Alright, so maybe... Tires at this point don't really matter because nobody had a chance... I'm sorry, what am I? Nobody had a chance to run their tires out, so I literally made no difference. Except on fuel, so if this does come down to a fuel strategy race, then I have a little bit... I have like a few laps extra of fuel. Oh boy. Yeah, we got a lot of laps left to go. Not only in the race, but stage number two, so I'm not too concerned at the moment. I just want to get myself back up there into the top ten, so I'm going to work on drafting a little bit. And get my way through this pack. Ah, right, there we go. That's a good good run right there. Stall out pack two. I'll give dot eight a bit of a shove. Never mind, I'll give the two a little bit of a shove. Oh, I gave the eight a shove in the wrong direction. I want him to go around. I two had a good, good run off to 16 there. But I do... Thank you, Recky Spinhouse. I was uncalled for. And now I'm back here in 20th. Love to see it. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to try to get a big suck off of Byron here. Oh, gonna have a good, good run. I'm gonna take it three wide on the inside line. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get a big draft off of Elliot here. Chase Elliot. Oh. oh. Oh, I gotta run. I'm just gonna stall behind the nine. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be able to catch up the Rick Spin House here. Just so you know, I'm gonna put the bumper to you. Just for wrecking me back there. Brad Keselowski. I, I want you to become my drafting buddy, but I got too much of a good, good run there. So, if you want to draft on me, that would be great from behind. I, I will accept drafting from behind to help push me. Or just not. I bet that works too. Oh, I turned a little late there. Yay, there we go. Back to drafting, buddy. Or not. 91 laps left to go. Stage number one. Or, sorry, number two. Number two. 
Who's that up ahead? That's Denny Hamlin? Yeah, that's Denny Hamlin. Oof. Okay, I don't find that fair. How come Denny Hamlin can fit his full name in there, but I can't fit Gotcha Racing at minimum in there? I can't even put the G in there. I'm just Gotcha Racing. Good run off of Hamlin on the inside here. I'm gonna see if I can go up high and draft off of them. See if we can work together here and get up to that pack of cars and start making our way through them. Making my way downtown, walking fast, moving fast, and I'm southbound. Get me close enough to them where I can draft off of them. I think here should be fine. Christopher Busher, right on the high line, bouncing up and down. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. Man, this chick's so bumpy. Gotta say, NASCAR Heat did actually do a good job in uh, implicating the bumps in some of these races, or in some of these race courses. I'm surprised we haven't had any cars flying through the air, though, because I hit a curb and then I just stood straight up on my nose. That was weird. Oh, just for a bunch of got a little loose. I gave him a little tap, but it was a little too much of a tap. Oh, shoot. I let go of the, the joystick there and couldn't find it there for a quick second. Okay, I'm going to make the inside pass on Alan Moroli here. Oh, I'm going to keep it out of the wall. All right, cool. Jimmy Johnson making a pass on Alex Bowman. See how I can help him a little bit. Have a little bit of a push. No, that's too high. Okay. Um, I just increased the battle. Oh, I just made it worse. Jemai, I'm sorry. Jimmy, I'm still sorry. I keep running into you. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Take the inside line. Oh, uh, three wide. I'm on the outside. Was on the outside. Was three wide. No longer three wide. All right, Jimmy, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to draft on you here. And we're going to try to catch up to that pack of cars right there. And then work our way up to there. So the only problem is that my car is a little too tight. Sometimes it's a little too tight. Sometimes it's not too tight. It all depends on how it wants to feel. Oh, we got a good run coming through the inside here. Hopefully I'll help give Jimmy enough of a shove. Get him battling some of these guys up here. Hold your line. Stay high. I'm trying so hard to give him like a good, good shove. He's oh, uh, not pass him, but I just have the slightly better car than he does, I guess. Maybe I can get him to draft behind me. Yeah, there we go. You can stick behind me. Oh, well, I didn't stick behind me for very long. I'll say, if you can stick behind me, I can catch him up to these guys. I just have the better car, I guess. Sorry, Jamai. I tried. Right, 83 laps left to go in stage number two. We just passed Ryan inside Laney there. Uh, we're riding up against uh, Matt Kansas. Clint Moyer, we're going to draft off of you, the 10 to 500 champion. A little bit of a bump. 95 of Christopher Bell. We're going to see if we can go get Clint Moyer past him real fast. And we will. I wanted to make a pass alongside Clint Boyer, but that's okay. Whatever. Oh boy, why did it let off the throttle there? I'm still pushing the button. I don't know why I let it off the throttle there. That's okay. I'm gonna go catch back up to Boyer. Oop, oop, a little bit of slide.
81 laps to go, stage number two. Oh. Boy, sorry, Clint Boyer. Okie dokie, so... Maybe Clint Boyer will help push me up to Ryan Newman. Kevin Harvick. And Kurt Busch is not up there. Man, it is far ahead. I don't know what's inside that Monster Energy Chevy Camaro, but it is fast. They probably put Monster Energy in the hood of it. 80 to go, stage number two. Oh, slang up high. Nice, kept out of the wall. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he's all the way up there. Oh my gosh. You just see him, he's just a little speck. Oh boy, I want some speed. Uh, touching the curb there. 79, stage number two. Player. I'm trying to catch up with these guys, but I'm not sure I can do it myself. I think the car just keeps getting really tight. You know, I'm gonna allow Clint Boyer to pass me if he wants to continue having speed. That is, so that way he can help me draft, draft, and get up to these guys, so I can start making some moves. It looks like lap traffic's gonna help me out, so. Thank you, Lap Traffic. And I guess somewhat thank you, Clint Boyer, for someone pushing me up here. Just gonna move in the inside. Joey Gase here. David Reagan. How's it going? Oh, we have two cars on pit road. That's two cars DNF. Who, who are those two? Who DNF'd? Or are they making green flag pit stops? So are we supposed to be making 34 laps? Outside, we are gonna have to make green flag pit stops unless, you know, we get a caution. We will have to make a caution to finish the stage. That's for sure. That's what I should say. Sometimes there's a caution and sometimes there's not. I almost made my very first green flag pit stop since I started the series. And then I spun. And that caused problems. So, in the end, I've never had a green flag pit stop myself. There have been drivers, however, in my series who have had... Uh, green flag pit stops, I have yet to have my own, because there's always a caution, either from the AI or the one time where I accidentally did. That was entirely on me, sorry guys. <laughs> well, it's somewhat on me, my tire was down, and, and I think it blew when I was sliding down pit road. Oh, boy. Because that was the problem. I think it blew, I slid down pit road, and, er, no, I slid down pit road, then it blew. Which caused me to knife right back up in the traffic. And that ended my day. Or ended... Didn't end my day. That ended the green flag run. Yeah, we have two cars to DNF'd. Huh. Oh yeah, JJ Yaley. I remember he DNF'd. Who's the other one? It must have been from a recent caution. Oh, that's a good, good run. I need a slight bit more wear so I can get more grip. I don't know why, but my car se seems to get more grip when it has excessive wear in the right front tire. Right. Right, I'm catching up to, oh god, Clint Boyer here. Seventy-three laps to go, stage number one. Aw, oh, Blicky. Oh, oh, ow. That looked like it hurt. 95 is drafting on me now. I'm slowly at truly losing positions. Oh, I'm getting blickied. I'm getting blickied. Oh. Shouldn't have done that. I have Christopher Bell. Uh, tires, we got issue with the tires. 
Are we gonna see some green flag pit stops? I don't know. And by any of the IRS and King Timmy Hill, by issues I mean some extra good good grip on the inside? Oh heck yeah. Oh, that was a great block on the 95. I thought I was done for there. No, what happened to my grip? I had grip. Now it's drip. Whoa. Oh, that would have been... Oh, still still is a good block on the 95 there. Man can't get around me. Because I got a heck ton of speed. 15% right front tire. I'll continue to go until it's like 3% again, because... Yeah, I see him, I see him. Because I think I was fine. Until, yet again, I blew it on pit road. Or coming down to pit road. So, I'll probably come down when it's like 5% or 4% instead of 3%. Or maybe I'll just take my chances again. I don't know. 69, nice laps left to go in stage number 2. Oh no! Ah, I have good good speed with my really worn right front tire. And I'm trying to use it to my advantage to catch up to Clint Boyer here. Nobody else is pitting. That's kind of concerning. I don't want to pit and go a lap down. I'd have to chase my lap all the way back. Oh, my problem is I keep hitting the curb down there. So I lose any and all speed momentums that I have. And causing my right front tire to go down at an even faster rate, which I don't want. Brendan gone. Oh boy. Six percent. I think I'm gonna have to come next time. Oh, come on. Oof. This time, this time, this time, this time. I'm coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. So, so, so. Yes! Oh, just barely made it there. Uh. Okay, four tires. Uh. Gonna have to. No. As much as I would love repair. I, I don't want any extra time. Yay! Here's my crew, guys! Yay! Now you can finally see a full pit stop. Yes, sir! Way to go, Skittles guys. I don't know why you're in your Skittles uniform, but whatever. Alright, green flag. Off pit road. Oh, the leader did already lap me. That sucks. Leaderboard. Am I the first car lapped down? I don't know. I don't want to get lapped twice. Because that would suck. Alright, so I just have to focus on making the really fast runs here. 6-5 left to go. Stage number 2. Oh boy. The Hamlin, hello, Austin, er, Ty Dillon, sorry, the other one. I'll draft on you. It's going fall too fine. I need the one car to make a pit stop. I have 54 laps of fuel, how many uh... Ooh, I don't have enough to make it. So I'm gonna need a caution to come out. Or save some fuel, but I don't want to go two laps down, so... I'm kind of stuck here. 
Oh, I never did take a look to see who was the other lap or who was the other DNF driver. I still don't know. <laughs> Six three left to go. Stage number two. Oh, come on, Capoche. Get caught up by some traffic. I'm not making any time I'm at the Benedetto at all. I don't even know where he is. Excuse me, William Byron. Let me just scoot, scoot. Oh, there we go. We got another car down pit roads. Tyler Reddick. Oh, no, sorry. I was about to bend it in now. All right. So we have some more green flag pit stops going on now. Oh, yeah. I made my first green flag pit stop. Yay! Right. And this one. Car front pit this time. Is that the leader or the car front is in the car ahead of me? I don't know. Oh, car front. Car ahead of me is pitting. Oh, they might all be able to make it to the end of the stage. I don't know if I will. Oh, there goes the leader. I can get my lap back. Oh, Joey. Oh, a lot of guys there on pit road. Jemai! Jemai's your leader! Which means I didn't get my lap back. Uh, 49 laps left of fuel. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Oh, uh, Jemai's spitting! Fifty-nine. Oh, I'm still short ten laps, and I'm still lapped down because Alex Bowman does not want to pit. The lead car is oh, lead car is pitting. Okay, good. Oh, he's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down. Awesome. Okay. Oh, here's a- Oh, caution! Caution's out! Oh, my gosh! Oh! That's gonna trap a lot of drivers left down. I mean, guess, guess, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pit? We got all the way to top eight a lap down. Which means I'm not gonna lose very many positions. I'm gonna get in some tires. I'm gonna make it on fuel. Let's go! I needed that caution to come out. Oh, shit. Forgot to see who was, uh... Oh, Justin Haley. He's... He DNF'd as well. It's Justin Haley. Justin Haley and, um... JJ Haley. Both are back of the pack drivers, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we got the top eight down a lap. I think it's top nine now, because, uh... I think Ryan Newman got the free pass. Well, that's great! Oh, that gave me plenty of time to pit, get some tires, get a filler with fuel. Oh, now I'm fading. Fading fast. Oh, Seville, Seville, Seville. Oh my gosh. Guys, can I, can I... Yeah, nobody's helping me. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Almarola. Ryan Blaine, hold on to it. I'm just falling back here. Okay, oh... Almarola, I thought you were going to go with me. Thanks for your help. I was very sarcastic, by the way. Well, the good news is that I can make it on fuel, but I think everyone else can, so that does not... 54, yeah, 52. 52 remaining in the race, 54 laps of fuel. So that doesn't affect anyone. I don't think we have a race winning car, but we definitely have a podium finishing car. And I want to prove that in this stage. I know I'm 7th right now, but I kind of sort of want to get a little higher. You see, I'm a lot better when all these guys are not on the same tire strategy as I am. The problem is that they're all on the same tire strategy. 
and I'm just not doing very well right now. Come on, here's your actual leaderboard, because this looks very confusing. I'm confused, you're probably confused. Jemai's the driver ahead of me. Oh, Clint Boyer. I had a good, good run there. I know there's nothing you can do about that, but... I'm top 10's a lot down. Yeah, my line is right until the 24. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, alright. Oh, bit, bit, bit. No, 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 no. Let's not slide up. Let's not slide up. Thank you, William Byron, for helping me. I'm rolling. You're not helping me. Jemai. Jemai, that was not very helpful. Oh, I just hit... Wrecked Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jemai. Good news that I have top five right now. Bad news that Joey Logano is 1.2 seconds ahead of me. Mo! Oh, nice block in the 95. But I'm still gonna run a needle. Okay, uh, 95 is helping me now. Thank you. Toyota teammates. How many more laps we got on the stage? We have a lot more than I actually think we are. Because, like, I'm driving like this is the last three laps. I, I probably need to take a shot pill. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Forty-seven. Oh, I'm driving way too aggressively then. Past this 10 cars, so I can start working on the driver who's actually in front of me. She's Alex Bowman. The bugs are just enjoying the race. They're just crawling over the screen. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Oh boy. I think I need to draft an Alex Bowman, but I kind of sort of want to keep my lone lone here. Alright, we'll get a little bit of a draft, bump draft here to the 88. Bonk. Okay, so it was a good run for him, but not a good run for me. Probably because I didn't start drafting on him in the back straightaway until like, it's too late, so that was partially my fault. I will take the blame there. For myself, not gonna be a good, good run. Oh, that was a good, good run right there underneath of him. Now I'm dropping off a of Joey. Yeah, there we go. Now we're making bank. Martin Trick Jr. second, and Kurt Busch is like in another dimension. I swear, they put monster energy in the engine of that car. It's like. <laughs> it's running, it's running fast. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not even Martin Trix Jr. right there. That's Ryan inside Laney. Oh, I can see that now. That's definitely a Mustang. Oh. Why does the camera do that? That hurts my head. I, I, every single time I do that, I get whiplash. Or every single time it does that, I get whiplash. Like, actually. <laughs> I feel it in my neck for some reason. Okay, well, uh, Martin Trix Jr. is far ahead. Uh, oh yeah, my three seconds. Kerr Push is five. Why is Kerr Push five seconds ahead? Oh my gosh. Well, I don't think we're gonna win, but I do think we have a top three car minimum. Not if I drive it through the grass. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't think any amount of drafting by anyone is going to help me get uh, up to second place. Unless that's second place right there. Lap traffic could help, though. So once the one car and the 19 car get into the lap traffic, that would be cool. 
I mean, anything can happen, because it is motorsport, but it looks like uh, Kurt Busch has a chance to run away and get his second win of the season. Only a week ago, it was a Friday night, Las Vegas, and he took the number one victory royale. He got the dubs because he bested me entire strats. This weekend he just has a fast car. So maybe I can maybe I can best him entire strats this week. Who knows? I do have uh Oh dang it, why did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry, Joey. Oh, he's gonna take out Blaney. Oh yikes. Oh my gosh. Uh bye Joey. It was nice knowing you. Uh yeah, I'm gonna pit. Why? Because I'm going to do a Kurt Busch at Las Vegas. Look, top 10, lap down. What am I going to do? I'm going to pit. I'm going to have the better tires than all of you guys. I didn't. You guys saw my uh, tire gauge, I think. So, I'm just saying, I got the better tire strats now. Oh, is Jemai in the top? Oh, Jemai's in the top five. Look at that, Jemai. Good job. So, yeah, now I got the better tires. Now I have a chance of winning stage number two. So Kurt Busch doesn't sweep it, but I still think he's going to win it. I have a good, good feeling that Kurt Busch is going to win it. And Joey Logano's up in second, so I didn't hurt him too much, despite the fact he flew in the air like an eagle. I think me pitting was good for him. He's like, well, that's okay, at least I'll get second position. I want to go down low. Oh, I'm chasing Bowman off the track now. Oh, yeah, I got the fresh tires. I can run wherever I want. I'm going to be fast. Yeah, I can use the draft to get extra fast. Oh, but Jimmy, Jimmy's got the power of Jemai on his side, so he's, he's just going to... Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on to it, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that at all. I thought it was clear there. I was clearly not clear. Can I... I can't go down now because there's someone behind me. Okay, well... Give me the draft of Newman. I have the fresh tires. I don't care if you have seven championships. I have the right away. I have fresh tires. There we go. I'm just going to go across my Chevy nose there. Somehow not spin out. Newman, I'm catching up to you. I don't think I have the stage two win now that I take a look at it. Because look at Kurt Busch. He's already so far ahead of me. However, I do think I have a chance to get second or third again in stage number two. So, I'm okay with that. I, I think I can get a podium in stage number two. I don't know if it's going to be so close of a race with Mark Trucks Jr. again or not. But hopefully not, because I want to confirm that I'm in a position before looking at the thing and be like, oh, thank God. 33 laps to go, stage number two. I might be able to catch up the car push up. I do have fresher tires. I mean, I do have better speed. Here, I'll draft a Martin Truex Jr. I'll see what I can do. Let's see if we can use the power of tandem draft to catch up to Kurt. And we can get past him. Either that or I accidentally call another caution. Who knows? So, yeah, I'm using Kurt Busch's uh, tire strat that he used at Las Vegas, except this time it's not to win a race, it's to win stage number uh, two. Dream on, dream on. Oh, never mind. I'm no longer clear. I'm just going to pass you then. Okay, bye, Martin Truex Jr. Okay. He was like, eh, we'll, eh, I'll draft on you. And I was like, nah, never mind. I want to draft on you. Okay. Uh, okay. We're doing good. Oh, uh, never mind. I take that back. We're not doing good anymore. Oh, whoa, nice block. That was close. Nope. I won't be able to block this time. Oh, but he backs off. Unlike Denny Hamlin did a few races ago. I think I was uh, on a club. You know what? For being such a good sport, I'll give you that position. And I'll just draft on you. Save me some fuel. What for? I don't know. Maybe I'll make my pit stop. 
It's shorter. No, I was thinking of making a right turn. Right in the tracks. Man, her push just has a really fast car. 1.7 seconds ahead of me. He just got a good, good car. Ow. I'm gonna pay attention to the track. Shape weird. Sorry, Trix. See, most of my tires are good. This is my right front that's just constantly getting eaten alive. <clears throat> my voice is dying. I'm not good. I still have all of State Tree left. I don't know how long State Tree is. 28 left to go. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching up to Kurt Bush. I really don't. Look how far he is ahead of me. Man's got the speed. Man's got the momentum on this. Ah, shoot. Oh, on. Okay, cool. Sorry, we're back. It was dinner time. We had ribs. It's very good. Nope. I probably shouldn't have paused in the corner, huh? Uh, how many laps do I have left? 27 left in stage number 2. Hopefully I can catch back up to uh, Martin Trix Jr. after body slamming the wall there. I'm going to do it again. Got a little loose to that corner. Uh. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's not wreck ourselves here. I'm happy with the top 3. Uh, Martin Trix is just getting away from me here. Did not mean to hit the button. Uh -huh. No. Dang it. My car just has no more grip. Should be getting some grip soon. Right front tire's going down. <clears throat> Seems to do really well when the tire goes almost flat. 25 left to go, stage number two. Alright, let's see if we can go hunt down Truex. My dog wants upstairs. Okay, back to where we were. Nope. Not going through the grass, that's for sure. 24 laps to go, stage 2. Oh boy. Really tight there. Oh, Trix is just running away from me. I'm not sure I can catch up to him. Catch a Tim, I'm gonna need another caution. In fact, to even get the stage win, I have to get another caution. Kurt Busch is just really fast. He's got monster energy under his hood. On his hood and under his hood. Kurt's just powered by monster energy. My car is covered in, or if my car is powered by as much sugar as the M&Ms on this thing, it'd be pretty fast too. But uh, <clears throat> I thought NASCAR didn't allow extra substances into the engine, so I don't know how Monster Energy got through. Oh, stop sliding! I need to go full throttle through these corners if I want to catch up. <clears throat> Thirty-nine uh, laps left of fuel. I'm set $39, and I don't know why. Yeah, $39 left of fuel. <laughs> uh, 21 laps left remaining, so we're good on fuel. Oh, uh, boy. Stop being so loose. Ah. Uh.
20 left to go. Stage number two. Uh, that might have worked. Nope. We're not getting position. It looked like we did. It looked like we got a little bit of position, but we didn't actually. We're gonna need a left car ahead to help us. I am not helping myself whatsoever. Oh, there we go, 1.1. That's slightly closer. 19 laps left to go. Oh, there we go. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. This is only for second position, by the way. First place is 4.6 seconds ahead of us. We're not catching up to him. That would be Kurt Busch, by the way. Kurt Busch has one fast car. I think it's currently being held up by lap traffic. Oh, big loose, big loose, big loose, big loose. No. We were so close. I had to start chasing this car up the hill. Something I don't want to do. Stay low, stay low. Clear right. Stop getting big loose. I need to catch up to Truex. Seventeen left to go. Stage number two. Almost there. Almost got him. Close to getting into his draft, maybe. Maybe. Here we go, here we go. Here's gonna be the money maker right here. Oh, we made up a whole second on Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch is gonna slow down by live traffic. 16 left to go, stage number two. I'm gonna make a pass on Trix for second. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna run Joey Gates while I'm at it. throttle here. Oh, Martin Trix Jr. falling back far. Far behind. Oh, pitting! Cars are pitting! I don't know why cars are pitting, but we have cars pitting. Martin Trix Jr. pitted! Oh, wow. We have a lot of cars pitting. Uh, Ryan Newman's currently in third. I should be able to make it, I think. Maybe. By I've suffered with my tire nearly flat before, and I'll do it again. I have to keep my ear out for uh, if Kurt Busch will be pitting or not. All right, my car's got some good, good grip now, so I'm gonna keep an eye on my little thing here. We might have a chance to win this. Because we're catching up to Kurt Busch by a lot. He was four seconds ahead. Not if I continue doing that. That's how I'm going to blow a tire if I continue running down the curb. Or on the apron. 13 left to go. Stage number two. Getting a good, good run off of Brendan Gunn here. He's going to get stalled. Oh? We're just pitting, we're just pitting. I think. Or the car up front. Stay low, stay low. Yeah, it was the car up front. 12 to go. All the way up, get up, get up. Way to hide. Oh. A lot of these guys are not going to pit when the stage caution comes out. I'm sure. I'm going to last a second on later. 11 to go. Oh wow, top three are all let down. I don't think I need to pit. The pitting this time. Oh, Kurt Busch is pitting! Oh, caution! No! 
Oh! Well, you know what? It's just me and Kerplush, so I might as well pick, get that good, good, fresh tires. Uh, get some fuel. Fill our fuel. Yeah. Alrighty then. Oh, wow. A lot of drivers got the free pass and a wave around. This is our top 10. Alright, so I'm going to challenge Kurt Bush now. Eight to go, left in the stage. Oh, which of the Bush brothers is going to get it? We've seen this battle before at Las Vegas. We see it here at Atlanta. I just realized it was the Bush brothers battle at their home track. That's kind of cool. Wow, Kurt Busch just has a lot of speed. How does he have so much speed? He's hoping for a battle up there, but he's just unstoppable. We have a third car who DNF'd. I don't know who that is. Kind of wish it was Kurt Busch. So we could get close enough, or so that way we have a chance of winning. Oh, Hamlin, come on. Oh. The heck? They're all, like, a lap down. I don't get why they're racing me so aggressively, but okay. Five to go. We're not catching up to Kurt Busch. He's already three seconds. How does he get so fast? No, come on. Stop hitting the wall. Whoever DNF is the front runner because they're pretty far up pit road. So, whoever that is. I don't know, it's a red car. Ow, oh, son of a gun. Why is Kurt Busch so fast? He's already four seconds ahead of us. Three to go. Man. If we could have kept it going green until the end of the stage, we would have had that stage win. But nope. That does not seem to be the case. Uh, two to go in stage number two. Looks like we're gonna have to settle for second this time. We had a third in stage number one. Kurt Busch looks like he's gonna sweep the stages and probably the race. He's already five seconds ahead of me. Third place is like a second behind me. So it's not like... He's just really good today and I don't know why. Why does he have such a fast car? White flag, stage number two. I oh, will go figure out who else DNF'd. It's JJ Yaley, Justin Haley, and someone else. I think we ran on J Jimmy? Now it's a red car. Who do Tyler Reddick? Is Reddick in a red car? And check the flag, that concludes stage number two. Second in stage two, Kurt Busch gets another stage win. Truex Jr., Alex Bowman, Jerry Logano, Kevin Harvick, William Byron, Jimmy, Matt Kenseth, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones. Oh, Eric Jones, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so who else DNF'd? A lot of people aren't pitting, and a lot of people are pitting. Ryan Newman! Oh, he had such a good run today. You know what? I think I am going to pit. Why? Because fuel strats. We've seen... We've seen uh, us go to green flag pit stops multiple times. Almost twice. In stage two. And twice for some drivers. Not to mention... Top 10's like a lap down, so I'm not going to lose very many positions if I do this anyways. So, back green, 112 laps remaining in the rest of the race. Now, is there someone who could take Kurt Busch's reign and get the W here at Atlanta? Or will Kurt Busch sweep the stages and the race and just walk away with an easy one? Jemai, he's in third. This is the highest he's been all season long. Can I help him get to first? I don't know. Joe Logano was willing to help me, and then I kind of sort of went a little too high. No, I'm helping Jimmy. I want to help Jimmy. Okay, fine. You get the better run. Oh, Kurt Busch, Kurt, ugh, Kurt Busch is driving away. Oh, Joey Logano. Looks like he's got a draft on him. And I'm stuck behind Jimmy giving him a shove. Oh, William Byron made a move. Or, sorry, Alex Bowman. Not William Byron. I think Alex Bowman's in a Liberty car today. Nobody out back. Oh, Alex Bowman. No, sorry, Martin Truex Jr. I cannot tell who that is. The graphics are so bad. Alright, we're gonna have Harvick. We're gonna see if we can catch up to the three. Kurt Busch, or sorry, Martin Truex Jr. is the only driver to take away from Kurt Busch's reign today. What happened to the Monster Energy under the hood, huh? You got to put it in this stage? That was a really lucky break for Kurt Busch, uh, the caution before the stage, because he was going to pit, and then the caution came out, so he was able to keep his position and go off to win stage number two. Well, I was hoping to not get a caution, because I could have made it, uh, and I would have won stage number two, but it's fine, it's whatever. It is what it is. Oh, Kevin Harvick giving me a shove here. Let's see if we can use that good, good shove to get me to Kurt Busch, who's a second ahead. And eventually, Joey Logano, Martin Trix Jr. It looks like if you get fresh air, you're just really good. You drive away. Unless you're me, because I think I have fresh air. Oh, come on. That's a bit of an overreaction. I just touched the apron. Just a little bit. You didn't need to slide all the way off the track. Hundred and six left to go. don't really know what to do. I mean, besides slight driver errors, there hasn't really been in the slight driver errors being touching the curb, which is a NASCAR heat problem. There, There isn't too much I can do. I'm trying my best. I'm going as fast as I can. Um, the car's doing its best to, to, to just exist. Random thought, I wonder how many hours I've put in the NASCAR heat now. Especially since I've started this full-time series. Like, each race has been two hours, so this is, what, race number six? Because it's almost five. So, at least 12 hours minimum. I put in a little more than that. Racing online. No. 
And any time I make any gains on the driver, the car just decides to get loose, and then I lose any and all gains on said driver. I don't know what to do. I mean, yet again, besides driver errors, I'm just kind of sort of puttering around back here, trying my best to keep up with these guys. But it doesn't seem like even the AI can catch up to the AI and pass the AI. Looks like if you're Martin Tricks Jr., or if you're anyone in lead, you have fresh air, you do really well. And you just drive far away. I kind of sort of wish I could do that. Seems like everyone's just kind of sort of stuck. And Ryan Newman, he was having a good race today. That sucks to see him DNF. Uh, which was probably the caution that cost me stage number two. Stage two win. Well, we're getting somewhere. We might be able to get on the bumper curb push here soon. Yeah, there we go. We can start seeing his name. We're getting there. We're getting closer. We're not in the draft yet. Oh, if I make a driver error like that, I'm not going to get any closer. Whoa. Alright, a little bit of a slide through here, but that's okay. We're catching up, catching up. Yeah, there we go. Here we are. Something I've wanted to do all day is pass Kurt Busch. Now here we are. Not so high and mighty anymore, huh, bro? Oh. Oh. Oh, we both got into the wall there. Kurt Busch is staying committed on sticking to my back bumper. trying to run on the inside of Lugano. I think the best thing to do is to draft, but I don't really want to go up in the high lane here. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. We'll pass him on the inside anyways. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <gasps> we got another outside! Let's go! That was my third one in a single recording day. So that's good. We had two at Auto Club, I think. Yeah, I think it was Auto Club. We had two at Auto Club and one here. And I recorded three races a day. It was Auto Club, Sonoma, and here in Atlanta. We got three outsides. Oh, I was say not anymore, but I think it's a little too late to do a blocking. Oh, there we go. Kurt Busch from the accelerator. Except, you know, when I need the inside of the corner. And he decides not to make the complete pass on me when I needed the complete pass. Uh, that's the only time I wanted them to make a complete pass on me. Alright. Oh boy. Carried a bit too much speed through the corner. Just gonna draft. Oh boy. No. Dang it. That was too much of a run. Well, if you're gonna pass me, try to make the full pass so that way I can draft on you. And so, shoving me up into the wall. Thanks, Logano. Now I'm gonna have to go a lot slower so I don't hit the wall, and then now I'm just gonna be stuck back here. Alright, hold on. Let me get the messages. Okay, back to racing. Oh. Uh, I, that was driver error right there. Alright, well, good news is that we got some live traffic up ahead, so maybe I can get my uh, third position back. And second. Second position as well. How are we looking on tires? We're not flat enough yet. We need the right front to be a little flatter so I can get some more grip. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. I don't have more grip on with tire fall off, I promise you. Oh, Jerry Logano being held up by a 
Let me guys try to pinch him. Joey Gase. Well. I, on the other hand, am going to take the route where I hit the curve and then start sliding up high. Oh, Ty Dillon's leaving me in the inside line. Thank you, Ty Dillon. Exactly where I want to be. Ah, let's go. Oh, getting a good, good run off Logano. Oh, there we go. I think that's Scrub push up ahead. Pass uh, Chad Fincham. Yes, it is. Awesome. It does not look like we're catching up to Martin Truex Jr. It looks like everyone's staying clear of Martin Truex Jr., but second and third place, or was third place, they're not making any room for. Okay. Oh, we got a good, good run on Bush here. He's Quinn Hoffa's pick. I want the inside lane. Give me the inside lane. Oh boy, getting close. Might be able to capture that second. 91 laps left to go. That's a lot of time here in Atlanta, but... No, oh boy. Oh, Kurt Busch, I think, just got a little bulikied. He made a little bit of contact with Seven. Yep, let's see here. Who's next? Oh, he was thinking of going up high. Timmy Hill, I racing king. I'll just use him as a drafting pick instead. We have an entire row of cars ahead. Maybe I can catch up to the one car and get second. Oh, whoa. It's a little too high for my liking. Oh, he's just passing them fees. Nemechek and, uh, Ross Chastain aren't even trying to block him. Or not Ross Chastain. Whoever's in the cold custard. I cannot see what car that is from that far away. No. The car's still too tight. It's at 29%. I think there'd be a little more grip now. There it is. Huge kind of line of cars. Maybe we can catch up to Kurt Busch this way. Oh, they're all fanning out. Oh, they're gonna keep Kurt Busch stuck. Let's see if we can catch up to him here. Oh, oh, he wants the high line, but Reddick also wants the high line. Or whoever's in that red car head. Brendan gone. And here we go for second. Oh, Kurt Busch moved dead low. Trying to pass. Oh, that's Austin Dillon. Oh, and it's three wide. Here's Chastain. Oh, now I'm going to get stuck in Chastain. Oh, I should not have moved that low. I shouldn't have not moved down that low. Oh, let's see if we can keep Kurt Busch on the high line. No, we can't. Oh, that's okay. He's going to stall out in the middle. I ain't going to go and draft on me. I have to look in my mirror now. Or the review camera. Oh, tires are going down low. I have to keep an eye on that as well. Oh, no. 
Oh, I'll care twice. Hello, bubbles. Oh, no. Oh, boy, maybe the contact with the one car there. Did not mean to do that. Ah. It just gets so loose, and I can't catch it. It keeps going up the wall. And I keep losing positions in time because it keeps, like, doing that slide, slide, slide. Oh, step behind Suarez. Yeah, I see it, I see it. I'm gonna pull, the, uh, no, I'll pull down pit row when I'm ready. Oh, yeah, that is Suarez. Finally, I get a car right. Let's go. Uh, I think we already have some cars down pit road, or are those? Oh, no, those are DNFers. I'm not going to fail here. Try to get a good, good draft off of him. Okay. Oh, Carpush being held. There's uh, being held behind Matt D. Burrito. Not for much longer, though. Looks like he's going to make it past the inside. 81 laps left to go. 10% on my right front tire. We're going to have to pit for our tires soon. That's a definite. But I'd like to hold off for as long as possible. Mostly because... Okay, now we're getting cars who are pitting. No, don't slide. And don't make contact with other cars. Alright, 7%. I think I need to pull in this time. Unless I can keep it. Okay, maybe one more lap. I think I can keep her out for one more lap. Oh, car ahead of me is. The pits. It's Kurt Bush. I'll pet now. It's not Kurt Bush. All right, I'll ha I have to come this time. I have to come this time. There's no other way around it. I have to come in this time. Right, the tires get bold. Oh, it looks like Kurt Bush is pulling down pit road now. So, 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 so. Come on! I was not too fast. I made it to 45 miles per hour. Right sides in. I gotta make this pit stop fast. No, oh, four. Might as well. I can't get any repairs though. I was not too fast. I could have sworn I made it in on pit road speed. It was 45, wasn't it? It was 45 or 35. There goes Kurt Busch. Let me go. Why is the penalty so long? Might have been a mile per hour over. I just got lapped. I did not want that. <sighs> Dang it. That really sucks. I I could have sworn I was going down pit road pit road speed. Because I was too fast, according to NASCAR. I was at 45. When I hit pit road, I was at 45.
Alright, well, best I can do now is uh, try to remain the lucky dog. So that way... I'm not in too much trouble. If we do get a caution. I don't know what Kerplush is, but he's gonna have a huge advantage here because he doesn't have to go down for a stupid penalty. Oh! We are the lucky dog, right? I think we're the lucky dog. Accept. Advance. Uh, I'm two laps down? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why am I two laps down? Are you kidding? How did I get two laps down? Why, why was I placed all the way back here in 28th? If I'm in 17th. I don't understand the lineups when cars are left down at all. Inside line does this weird thing too. Where like, you could be the 43rd driver but sitting right next to the driver in the pole. It makes absolutely no sense. I took this four wide at Atlanta, or at uh, Auto Club and I'll do it again here in Atlanta. It'll make me test things. Send one laps. No, it's two laps down, then I want to pit. Left to go. How am I going to get two laps back in 70 laps? Especially when a race has gone as green as this one has. Until, you know, the most inconvenient times. I guess the best thing I can do is get the highest position of two laps down. You know, I wasn't thinking that, uh... Atlanta was going to be the track that I got my first initial lap down. I thought that was going to be Sonoma, but I somehow made it onto the lead lap. Looks well, like Atlanta's going to be the first one I finish the lap down. Not only a lap down, but two laps down. It's a stupid speeding penalty that I didn't even get in the first place. I was going 45 miles per hour down pit road. Alright. Ricky Spinhouse up ahead. How many drivers are trapped a lap down? Or two laps down? I'm starting to make some smoke and laughs. So thank you, Smoke. <laughs> Straw's Tony Stewart's nickname is Smoke. That's funny. And then Christopher Bush is also two laps down. Is all the top ten two laps down? We just get caught at a very inconvenient time. Yep, alrighty. Well, Alex Bowman is the next driver. And he's a lap ahead of me. Which I'll never catch up to if my car's gonna continue doing that. Well, that sucks. I was hoping we were gonna get a top 5 finish today, but it looks like uh, 12th or lower is where we're gonna be. This race has gone virtually caution free. <laughs> Normally there's caution before we need to make pit stops, but recently it's just been cautions after we need pit stops. 
so I find that kind of weird. This just really sucks. I was really hoping for a great day today, and then I'm stuck here paddling around in 12, two laps down. Six to four laps left to go. Best bet, I think, would be uh, go down pit road. Only have pit stops that are two right side tires instead of all four. And going from there. So I can have faster pit stops. Because I think we're going to need a pit again. 45 laps of fuel. Stop! Get off the wall! I turn, doesn't mean continue going up onto the wall until you blow up a right front tire. Alright, how many laps? 45 laps of fuel. 62 laps. Yeah, we're gonna need to make pit stops again soon. Or not soon, eventually. So my best bet will be staying out as long as possible. And then coming down pit road and getting right side tires. And I can't fix damage at all, so any damage I'm stuck with, I'm stuck with for the rest of the race. Sixty-one left, left to go. No, stop doing that any time I get close to a driver. Just drive like you normally do. And you only get loose when I'm around other drivers trying to pass them. Like, stop it. I'm gonna race out Morales. Across them as I possibly can. Do 59 laps left to go. No, stop! The car does not slide that dramatically if it hits the banking or hits the apron. I really don't know what to do. I'm stuck two laps down, and I don't know why. Maybe I shouldn't have pitted there. Maybe I would have been fine. Instead, I decided to pit. Maybe that's why I'm stuck two laps down? Well, it wouldn't explain why, like, the top 12 is, like, two laps down. Fifty six laps to go. Uh, hitting the wall, so that means I'm catching up to the driver up in front. Uh, 
55 laps left to go. I really don't know what to do. I mean, I guess my strategy of just getting two right side tires will work, but my left side tires are going to fade eventually. So that's not going to work forever. to do. I really don't know what to do. Sorry, the reason why I'm sitting here in silence is I'm just trying to think, what do I need to do? You know, we do crank it up. You know what, how about we do crank it up? Here's crank it up. And there's your crank it up. Alright, so we caught up to Bell, which doesn't mean anything in our position, because he's in 6, I am in 12. He's like a lap down. Or well, I'm like 2 laps down. I don't know. I really, really don't know what to do. The best thing I guess I could do right now is just doing what I'm doing now and hoping everything will work out in the end. Yeah, that would not be a good idea to follow me to the wall. Man, the cars are so bouncy around here. So many bumps. Forty-nine left, left to go. Oh, I'm gonna trap you behind Ty Dillon. Oh, you're gonna follow me, aren't you? I don't know if I block down low. Oh, got him. Got a little bit of paint scratched off while we're at it. Good news of catching up to William Byron. Bad news is that I don't know if I'm going to be able to invite myself or not. <laughs> 48 laps left to go. Man, these laps are clicking down a little too quickly and slowly at the same time. I'm getting closer and closer to Trex, so maybe I can make something work, but I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just trying my best here. I'm just trying to get as many positions as I can, go as fast as I can. Despite the fact the next position is 15.8 seconds ahead of me. And I'm trying my absolute hardest here. To try and make something work. Pass as many cars as I can. Maybe it'll help me in the long run. Maybe we'll get some cautions before the end of the race and I can get my laps back. Maybe. Here's our Racing King, Timmy Hill. Got on Quinn Hoff. 46 laps to go. We missed 47 to go. Was I busy jabbering on about stuff then, or did we just miss count a lap? Drivers are never close to making pit stops. Oh yeah, drivers are going to be close to making pit stops for tires soon.
Come on, even check. Goodbye, Neil Chad. Alright, so I might be able to get my lap back, maybe, on Shurex here. And have... Scrap that, I'm not going to make any positions whatsoever. Because how dare I touch the, the apron. Okay, so in theory, if I were to catch up to Martin Shurex Jr. and and unlap myself, I'd be only one lap down. In that case, he'll make his pit stop, and I'll make my pit stop, and a caution will occur, and then I'll get the free dog. Or the free dog, the, the lucky dog. Or the wave around or the free pass. Whichever happens to be the thing that I need. And there we go, 20% left on my tire. Oh, 19%. Yeah, I can't get right sides, because my left front's all the way down as well. So yeah, I guess I'm stuck getting four tires then, huh? 43 laps left to go. I'll only come down when it's 5%. So I can get the most... Oh, I love that. You gotta take care of the rubber because it's the only thing connecting you to the road. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Oh, that's great. I've never really heard Tony Stewart's, uh, hey, you're running out of tires, or hey, you're running out of fuel, because I've always been in, I mean, tires have always been fine, because uh, no other track eats up tires like Atlanta. And then, like, fuel, most of the time, there's usually a caution when I needed fuel. So, it's kind of fun to hear some stuff that I never really get to hear. Yeah, I know. I'm doing this against my will. I'm two laps down, and I need to get a lap back. This time, I think this time. So, 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 so. There was 35. Good for you. No. All right. Well, let's see where the road takes us. Hopefully we don't get two more laps down. I like how they're wearing their skills uniform. My like guys, this is a this is an Eminem's paint scheme, but okay. All right, and we're back green. How many laps down are we now? Three laps down! Yippee! That makes me so happy. Thank you, 7 Car, for pushing me. Give me, give me back up to speed here. Oh, and Chase Light, too. I think Dallas pulls the car ahead of me. Alright, cool. So I'm just gonna start circulating laps around here. Going as fast as I can. Try not to hit the wall. Alright. Mm. 
Not what I wanted to do, but my all four of my tires are pretty low. I mean, especially on my right sides, but I think if I didn't take care of the left sides as well, it, it wouldn't have worked, and I would have had to pull down pit road and make an extra stop. Uh, 54 laps to go, or 54 laps on fuel. I don't know how many laps left to go in the race, but I'm, the tires wear out a lot faster than fuel does, so we might, we're probably going to have to make another pit stop. Uh, King of Bye Racing, yay! I want to see how close we are to catching up with my pink towel. Uh, he's 13 All seconds five. ahead. All the way up. Get up. Get up. Clear high. Nobody out back. Brian Blaney. Hello. I was in 12th once. I remember those good old days when I was in 12th. Man, that caution after my speeding penalty really messed up our entire race. Oh, well, we got some cars pulling down pit road now. Alright, you're clear. So I'm gonna be going as fast as I can, and maybe I can get a good finish. I'll take a top 10. Even though we had a third place car. We got the stupid speeding penalty for absolutely no reason. So I made it down on pit road. It's fine, whatever, I don't care. I'm too tired to care. It's like 8.41 and I've been doing this all day. I've had to deal with Sonoma. While the recording said that it took two hours, it felt like five and a half. Yeah, I doubled. I, I just looked over at my recording. I was actually scared for a quick second. I wasn't recording. I was like, no. Ah, shoot. So this is actually next Saturday's race. I mean, all I need to do is record Sunday's race. I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm too tired. I recorded three races a day, each two hours to each, which is six hours. But then you got to remember, I took breaks. Not only made the recording, but a little bit afterwards as well. I don't know how long those were, but yeah. A six hour shift right here for work. <laughs> it's your daily 9 to 5. So mine start at 9, it's ending at 9. 12 hours. What to do? Oh, this is going to be our longest race. It's already 2 hours, 28 minutes long. Oh, yeah, to be fair, we did have to kind of start like restart the like, first. No, it was like the first lap. No, I noticed that. But I don't think it took it that long. So yeah, it's gonna be a longest uh, race. It's gonna be three hours. Uh, oh, I made up a position, that's good. Oh, William Byron is... A second ahead of me? Is that him right there? That's him right there. I'm waiting for Martin Truex Jr. to pit. Oh! Oh my god. That was close. Stuart, let me know when the leader's pitting. Alright, come roll on sixth. Oh, uh, which car? A lot of cars in front of me. That car. Okie dokie. Hi, Michael McDowell. I'm gonna pass you. Okay, bye, Michael McDowell. I might get a top 10 question mark? Well, I'll wait, wait for the leader's pit. 
three laps down. I can't believe I'm three laps down. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. pitted. Joey Logano is still around. Joey Logano was like right behind Martin Truex Jr. the entire time. Yay, I got a lap back. Lap 326 laps left to go. Oh, yeah, no, there's... We might need a caution. Some sort from one gets the top 10. William Byron's ahead of me. I might be able to catch up with him, but I don't know about Tyler Reddick. He's like 9 seconds ahead of me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! I'm gonna unlap myself. One lap down. Let's go. And I made it into the top ten. Oh, Martin Truex Jr. picked up the lead again. That is kind of scary considering he has fresher tires. What car? What car, Stewart? There's like four cars in front of me. Oh, bubble walls. That answers my question. I can't let Truex pass me. I can't go another lap down. I'm finally on one lap down. He has better tires than I do. I don't think I have a lucky dog. I don't know who has a lucky dog, but it ain't me. Man, I can't believe they all pitted like when I was halfway through my tire phase. I'm gonna have to pit again. They're probably not going to have to pit again. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't go back to being two laps down. I won't go back to being two laps down. If I'm going to be X amount of laps down for the, my ver uh, for the very first time, I want it to only be one. Shoot. Still there. I know I have William Byron behind me. He'll always help me through. I'm running on. I need you to move. I need you to move now. Where's Trex? Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Two laps down. Again. It's not running on. Stop doing that. At least I'll get a top 10. I'll be two laps down, though. So that's great. Not where I wanted to be. I had a top 3 car. I really did. That's being penalty for no reason, by the way. I made it down pit road. Under the speed limit. That really hurt me. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it. I'm tires. Right, we'll see. Where's the caution? There's normally like a caution. Like after everyone's done pitting. For absolutely no reason. Ah. 
This sucks. This hurts. It really hurts. I mean, I know I'm still getting top 10 out of this. But knowing for a fact that we we're like a top 5 car, and now we're two laps down, it just hurts. We were a fast car. We have the speed. We had the momentums. And it was all because of the stupid speeding penalty that I didn't even... Oh, caution! Yeah, everyone who isn't in fifth is a lap down. I, I don't think I can pit. I can't pit. Because then I won't get the wave around. Oh, I wouldn't get the wave around anyways. That's great. And now Matt Kenseth's not let down. Now I'm... Oh God, are you kidding me? Yeah, I guess what? That's not even gonna matter. How does the wave around work? How do you get the wave around? Is it, is, it, is it if NASCAR is just feeling nice and wants to give you a little special birthday present or something? Sorry, I'll just put the first car two laps down. Last car up. Actually, no. I'm just becoming the last car left down on Pest Truex. Yeah, top five's a lap down. Oh my gosh. Well, Kurt Busch took the lead away from Martin Truex Jr. Time to go. I think I'll be able to make it on tires. Dang, this is frustrating. I should be in fourth right now, battling for these guys. But instead, I'm in ninth, two laps down. And the entire top five is a lap down. I should aggressively be racing with Ghana for third right now, not I'm attempting to only be one lap down. This just sucks. It really just sucks. I mean, top five's a lap down, so I guess what are you gonna do? But the fact that I'm, like, up here battling the top three, like, aggressively, and, like, I'll never get to prove that I could, could have been up here, it just sucks. I don't get why NASCAR had to give me that stupid penalty. We were going the speed limit. I don't get where I thought we were speeding. So, the, uh, we should be able to make it. Now I'm crawling across the line like McQueen style. I am Blaney. Okay. Five to go. Yay. It's just seven to go. But remember, she got subtracted by home. You gotta be kidding me! I just touched the curb. Stop being so over dramatic over the little curb. Or not even a curb, the, the banking, whatever that is. Ugh. 
And like, ninth is good. I'm the first driver two laps down. I mean, considering that that weird caution put us two laps down. And I mean, like, Kurt Busch was a force to reckon with anyway, so like, I'm not saying, like, I would have won, but I'm just saying I would not be two laps down in ninth. Struggling this hard. No, stop, 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 stop. Jeez, I just hit the curb. There's no need to spin the entire car out. Was it four to go, three to go? Not enough to go. And it's dark, probably make it three to go. Now we're going to have a Lake McQueen case. Yeah, that's kind of how that works. Two to go! Yeah, I should be able to make it. All I hope would be that uh, Matt Kenseth starts pulling down pit road right now. And all the other drivers who are ahead of me. And maybe I can get six. But I don't think that's the case. White flag. In the air. Brought to you by Credit One Bank. Five percent of the tire. I'm gonna blow. The tire. Uh, I'm gonna blow the tire coming to the line. Oh no, I'm not. I still got some tire left in me. And checkered flag. I mean, ninth is nothing to complain about, especially after Sonoma when we finished twentieth. When that definitely should have been a top ten. Nope. It just hurts because, yet again, we got the stupid speeding penalty that we didn't need to get. And then we were never able to have the cautions fly the right way for us to get back. I mean, Kurt Busch was, was going to be the winner anyways. He was dominating all race long. Look at that. Like, the top six were separated by... Let's see here. Lead was separated by one second, third place three seconds, fourth place four, fifth place nine, and then uh, sixth place a whole minute. Matt Kansas and Eric Amarola were a lap down each, and then I was two laps down. I was the first one two laps down. So here's your um, finishing order. Kurt Busch wins both stages and the race. He won both stages, right? Yeah, he won both stages and the race. So Kurt Busch sweeps the entire race. He had one fast monster Andrew Chevy today. No one can deny that. Even if I didn't get the stupid speeding penalty and the weird cautions that put me two laps down. Even if I was on the lead lap, even if I was in second place, I would have never gotten the chance to beat him. He was just really good all day long. There was there was no stopping Kurt Busch. And Martin Truex Jr. in second, Joe Logano in third, Clint Boyer in fourth, Kevin Harvick in fifth, Christopher Bell in sixth, Matt Kenseth in seventh, Eric Amarola in eighth, myself in ninth, and Ryan Blaney rounds out your top ten. Alex Bowman in eleventh, Wyland Byron in twelfth, Brad Keselowski in thirteenth, <clears throat> uh, Chase Elliott in fourteenth, Denny Hamlin in fifteenth, and Tyler Reddick in sixteenth. That uh, rounds out what would be your playoff run, if, or your top sixteen, I guess, the playoffs. Here's everyone else. Oh, I swallowed the water weird. Hey, where's Jimmy? Ah, uh, Jimmy fell all the way down to 37. He went 96 up. Did he DNF? Justin... Okay, so I know for a fact J Jay Yaley, Justin Haley, and Ryan Newman DNF. Did Jimmy Johnson DNF in the end there? In the last 96 lap? I, I guess so. I'm gonna say that... I'm gonna say that Jimmy Johnson DNF'd. And I'd say the same for Christopher Busher and maybe Chad Fincham. Because that is a ridiculous amount of laps to go down. 
So not a good day for those guys, especially Jimmy, who's 20th in points. He really needed a good day. He was having a good day. I don't know what happened. I mean, honestly, I don't know what happened to us. We got put two laps down and was never really able to recover. So here's your points leaderboard after today. I'm still leading with two wins back-to-back uh, -back at Phoenix and Auto Club. Um, Joey Logano with his one win at... Oh, gosh, where was that? That was... That was at Sonoma. Jerry Logano won Sonoma. Uh, Denny Hamlin in third. Kurt Busch with his two wins at Las Vegas and uh, here at uh, Atlanta. Both in dominating style, by the way. Kurt Busch was the one to beat at Las Vegas. He was constantly second behind me. And then just because of good pitch strategy, he was just unstoppable. So Kurt Busch, there was no other driver who was on the same level of Kurt Busch that entire day. Kurt Busch was getting second. If I didn't win, and he was winning if I didn't win. Or if I won, Kurt Busch would have got second. If I didn't win, he was winning. Uh, Kevin Harvick in fifth. Uh, Clint Boyer, your Daytona 500 champion, is in sixth. And two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, that's all the races. Um, so I have six drivers locked in on wins. Martin Truex Jr., Eric Amarillo, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Ryan Inside Laney, Alex Bowman, William Byron, Chase Elliott, Matt Kenseth, Tyler Reddick, and Daniel Suarez will wrap out your championship or your playoff uh, field. Here's everyone else. Jim I went down two positions. He's now in 22nd. He was in 20th last race. And yeah, that's about all. Joey Gates still in last place, but getting closer to JJ Yaley. Alrighty, so yeah. Um, I think that is all. My, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, we got to check this out. Fastest lap. Kurt Busch. Whoa! 29.964. I mean, he won. He led every single lap. Or almost every single lap. Uh, on the move. I started 31st and finished 9th. Yay! I made the headlines. A tough break. Ryan Newman, he DNF'd yet again. I feel like it was the second race he DNF'd. 11 to 38. 29.964. No wonder no one could keep up with him. Everyone was running 30-somethings. I think my fastest lap was a 30-something. Hold on, can I see my lap times? No, I can't see my lap times. But my my fastest lap was like 30 points some. He was in like an entire second faster than me. And that was my fastest lap. So it was like an entire second faster the entire time. Oh my gosh. Well yeah, he he definitely deserves that one. I don't know how he got it, but man, he did really well. So congrats to Kurt Bush. Uh yeah, that's about all. We're gonna finish the event. We're gonna accept. So this race was an interesting one. We had to restart because I realized I forgot to turn on uh, strict cautions again after racing at the road course at Sonomi's. Um, and then so we restarted. I had to requalify. I qualified worse. I was gonna qualify 26 at first, and I went down to 31st. Then this race happened. We're doing pretty good. Uh, we never had the winning car. Kurt Busch was gonna win it either way. I think. Um, we, we, we had a, like, top three car, I think. We had a top three car. Um, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be, uh, you know? Um, so, yeah, it wasn't meant to be, but that's okay. Uh, I thought we had a top five car. We got put two laps down because of a speeding penalty. I wasn't speeding, but whatever. Uh, and so, yeah, finished ninth. All right, hold on. Let me see here. Yeah, Auto Club is Sunday, Sonoma is Friday, so today's race would have been Saturday at um, Atlanta, so Sunday is going to be the um, Richmond Day Race, the Toyota Arms 400, because I saw the My Martinsville Night Race coming up. Uh, oh, who is that sponsored by? Because it doesn't have a sponsor. So I, I added some sponsors to uh, the, the, the field. Um... Let's see here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, race schedule. Here it is. It's in my Discord server, so feel free to go check that out. Uh, ooh, the NASCAR Warren 23 500 at the Martinsville Night Race. So, yeah, it's sponsored by the movie that um, I'm in with. NASCAR Dallas fan. Uh, I was thinking his username. NASCAR Cowboys Dallas fan. So, heck yeah. Can't wait for that sponsored race to come up. Uh, but that's going to be Friday night. It's actually going to be a night race on at, at night. So I don't even have to change the schedule there. So that's perfect. 
So yeah, so that's Saturday. This will be Sunday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at Richmond. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Race on.